It's me. I just set up that stupid uh Snapchat. <laughs> Go leave that thing. Use it probably. I don't know. I, I I can't figure it out. Same thing happened with that um tweeting and stuff. I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I kind of just let it go. But I, I'm, um, the Instagram is good though. I got I got that one down pat. The um, the Snapchat bin, I can't really get that. I'll just put stuff on Instagram because I do a lot of interesting stuff and I'll just put it on Instagram. Anyway, it is, but I don't know. It, it might come to me. I might figure it out. So who knows? Anyway, it's Father's Day. I'd like to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I'd like to say Happy Father's Day to my father and to also my stepfather, both passed. Um, and, of course, to my son because he's a father. And all the fathers in my um, Facebook family, yada, yada, yada. It's actually, it's Sunday. It's June the 12th. And... It's one of our graduation <laughs> days because I think I, I explained before that um, Evergreen, the college I graduated from, uh, graduation was the second Friday of June. So no matter what day and do not look at these ratchet nails, they need to get done. I had a major, like a major break out <laughs> or whatever you call it. I think your nails just go in a cycle. Then like it seems like two or three of them will break at one time. But I'm gonna do them today. I was gonna do them last night. But anyway, let me let me go back. Um, yeah. So it was the. It's always the second Friday, and who this lamp is right in the view. There you go. It's always the second Friday, so it can be the eighth, or it can be you know the fifteenth. You know, for or for all intents and purposes, it doesn't matter. But I'm kind of thinking he actually graduated on the twelfth. I'm thinking maybe I graduated undergrad on the 11th and maybe the 14th for graduate. I, I don't know. I can I can look it up. And I don't know why I didn't look it up at first. But anyway, it's our um, graduation. I don't think it was Father's Day. Actu no, no. Yeah, it wouldn't have been Father's Day. Father's Day would have been that Sunday. I was going to say. And... Um, because I know my sister's birthday is June the 18th, and she was actually born on Father's Day one time, and it used to be a big party. Uh, the Gay Pride Parade would be in D.C., would be on Father's Day and sometimes, and, you know, that was always a party. So anyway, and um, so anyway, so we got my son, um, we got him, he got up this morning, and we went to... Um, you know, took him back to the nursery so the kids could say happy birthday, Dada, you know, and all that stuff like that. And he, you know, he gave him his present. I was going to um, haul his present, but I'm like, okay, he never looks at this. <laughs> he don't want to look at me cutting the food. And um, he never uh, looks at my uh, vlogs and stuff, but this would be the one time, the one time that he would look and see what he was going to get. I got him... Um, My daughter and I got him a really nice uh, Louis Vuitton um, wallet, and because his other wallet was dying, and I got him these um, leg massagers kind of things because his calf. He pulled his calf last year, and I didn't know what to get him. I didn't know what to get him. I walked around the store. I walked around the store, and finally, I saw these. Um, I saw the back massagers first, and I'm thinking about those, and I said, hmm. And then I went to the store, um, my favorite department store, and I happened to see the um, um, calf massagers, like vibrators. I thought it got warm, but he said it just vibrates. So I got him those, and um, I got him a tie clip. And some handkerchiefs and a, like a, you know, just a baseball cap from the kids, you know. So he cleaned up pretty good. And let's see, he always used to, which was really cute. Well, his, it's not Father's Day in America. It's Father's Day here in Japan. It's not Father's Day. Let me see. I know I ain't going to be able to see this with my eyes on. Because I think, I'm thinking it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. 
<laughs> Saturday morning on the uh, on the East Coast where his dad is. Let's see. Um, current time in Tacoma. Current time in Washington D.C. I keep this on my bookmark on the big computer. Then I'm looking. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, it's two thirty two in the morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Well, Sunday morning, but it's two thirty two in the morning. So. Um, I'll, when I get through um, dinner or what have you, I want to fix my son a special dinner and do some other things. And so I'll, this evening, I'll put my Father's Day, you know, greetings up, you know, so everybody can see and, you know, so he can, um, you know, uh, message his dad or what have you. So I, I should try to call him, but just that the, the weird, the, the time is so crazy that I really, I can't. You know, I can't, um, I can never, you know, I can never pinpoint the right time. And by the time I realize it's, you know, and my son always used to, uh, years ago, when he still does it now, but what he used to do years ago was he would always call me on Father's Day. He would always say, Happy Father's Day, Mom. And that always made me feel really good because there were some things sometimes that I had to, you know, take over and explain to him, you know, you know, and, and uh, that was his, uh, what should have been his father's place to do so. But, hey, you got to step up sometimes. It's like dads who raise their daughters by themselves have to um, um, step up and, you know do some things that I, you know, talk about some things, explain some things that aren't comfortable, you know, you have to do it. And I know how wretched I look. I don't want to hear it. But I just could not do them lashes. <laughs> I couldn't do that eyeshadow. I just couldn't do that today. I was just trying to get some down. I, I've just been tired. For one thing, I... i just been tired. And I think what it was... I know it, it, it hit me today when I was getting out the shower because I, yesterday I was just so tired. I was dragging around and I thought maybe my blood sugar was low or something. You know how you go through your mind on your checklist? And I'm like, what is going on? But what the problem is, is that um, we're moving. And we were supposed to move last Friday. Friday. This is Sunday. Yeah, we were supposed to move Friday. So there are boxes all in the way and, and, and you're ducking and dodging and every time you touch one thing, four things are falling over and that gets on my nerves. That gets on my nerves. I like everything to be in its place and to stay where it belongs and everything to be neat and clean and in its place and having to go through, dig all this stuff out, put all the stuff in boxes, you know, and all this stuff and in there, boxes in the hallway and there's boxes in the, 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 the kids' closets and it's stuff piled in my room here and it's a mess and I can't stand it. And I, because I couldn't figure out, I was kind of nauseous. Well, I figured out the nausea too. I had been not taking enough food. I take a lot of supplements. I take a lot of supplements and over here for some reason the milligrams are so low on supplements that to get 2,000 milligrams of vitamin D you got to take almost 10 of them you know pretty much because they're like 245 a piece so I have to take nine to get 2,000 milligrams the same thing with the fish oil I don't have to take one of them but I mean to make a long story short there it's the um So I end up taking nine pills of this and five pills of that and 10 pills of that. And the first thing I eat in the morning is fruit and yogurt and water. And so I've been trying to take my medicine with just that on my stomach. And I think that's what was making me, me nauseous because I couldn't figure out what was going on. Number two, I had just been tired. And I was thinking it was because maybe my blood sugar was going uh, low. So I took the, um, so I cut back on my metformin just to see how I would feel. Because when your blood sugar is low, it's, that's almost as bad as being up high. And with me taking all those vitamins and stuff, what I was thinking was, 
what I was thinking was um, maybe the supplements were lowering my blood sugar to the point that the metformin was making it too low. Make a long story short, I'm, uh, you can tell I'm still kind of confused. But I went to take a shower today because I wanted to, I cleaned up the nursery a little bit and fed the kids, cleaned up the nursery a little bit after my son had his Father's Day presentation this morning. And then I went to, um, I was coming out the shower and all of a sudden it hit me, you know, it's the, the fatigue and the nervousness and all that stuff and, and, and my nerves are bad. It's because of the, um, now I'm not going to start over, but for some reason this light is getting on my nerves. But, um, you know, it's just the, the, the confusion. Everything's in a mess. You know, everything's in, in, in a mess and I'm a, a OCD nut and I like everything to be in, in its place. Everything, you know, in its thing. I did the kitchen the other day that I was not looking forward to that. That's the worst part. That's the hard, you know, and that's what I was telling my son was that the, um, the going through the drawers and the going through the kitchen and the little stuff like that, the big stuff, he just moved, <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about that, but emptying the cabinets and emptying the drawers and, and doing the kitchen and, you know, doing the, the stuff. My daughter-in-law has been like, as the kids play with something, she's been like boxing it away, <laughs> you know, so they can't, you know, so they can't find it. So anyway, um, they think it's little people, it's little ch children live upstairs and my bedroom is right here at the um, window so men be walking by but also little kids and stuff but they really can't see me because I went to um, actually stood outside my window there to actually see how much you actually could see in here and if it's not night and me with the light on and the window wide open you really can't see anything because it's darker in here of course than there's out there I'm mumbling 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 anyway um, okay, I talked about what my son got for his, anyway, so we're, for Father's Day, so we're moving uh, Thursday. So today is Sunday, so this week is going to be like a whirlwind week of trying to get stuff. This last week has been crazy. I actually went shopping, uh, when did I go shopping? Wednesday? Wednesday for my son's Father's Day stuff. Um, then Thursday, I can't remember what I did Thursday, Friday, my son and I went downtown Tokyo to the barbecue place. Let me see if I can find this, what we ate. And I mean real barbecue, because usually when they say barbecue, they mean, um, they mean, um, that they cook it. I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to see it. This is the machine where you get the, um, can you see that? This is the machine where you get your subway cart from. All right, that's just what, all right, here's what we had. I mean, we had like this awful. <laughs> Thank goodness we don't eat like this every day. But it was real, what I was trying to get out was it was real Texas barbecue. And this Australian guy just kept coming over and flirting with me. And my son did not like it one bit. And I actually had a beer. Here's my, um, um, this could be a segment. What's on my, what I did on my phone. <laughs> I really had that ale. That was really good. I nursed it the whole way through. And uh, what else? I don't have any more interesting pictures. Oh, I don't know if you can see this or not. But that's what my office looks like that or not. Do not look at these nasty nails. Um, that pretty much is it. This is, um, trying to see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, this is kind of, you can't really see. I don't want to play the, um, uh, movie, but this is the, um, downtown Tokyo where we were walking along. So, anyway, there those people looking. She's laughing, little girl. Anyway, so we went to, um, had the barbecue, rode the subway, we had the barbecue. And then we walked to, we walked around, you know, downtown. You know, just It was Friday night, just a lot of people just wandering and walking and everywhere. It was so cool. And then, um, and it's just so funny because it's just so many people moving. I think that's probably how it is in New York when you see those, you know, um, 
shots of New York with people walking back and forth and stuff like that. That's what I think it must be like because, I mean, it's just your shoulder to shoulder, but it kind of flows. It's crazy. It's crazy. I can't describe it. Anyway, and so then we did a little teeny bit of shopping. I've done a, uh, got a couple of things for myself when I went shopping for my son. And then my son got me a few things um, Friday night when we were out. Yesterday, my daughter-in-law went shopping. She, she said, stay by your phone. Stay by your phone. So she went out and she said, snap. You know, I mean, not Snapchat, um, lining me, you know, pictures. Do you think he liked this one? Do you think he liked that one? You know, because we, you know, he really needed a wallet. So she did that. And then, so it was fun. And she came in last night, you know, showed it to me and everything was really cool. But I don't know, I just wasn't really, I haven't been feeling good. But now that I'm in, 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 in touch with what's wrong, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I really, because I'm, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm coming down with something. I couldn't figure out. But it's because of all the upheaval and that the place is a mess and there are boxes everywhere and stuff. So that's, you know, what, what's wrong. I, you know, figured out, finally figured out what's wrong. So I have a teeny, tiny, teensy, insy, insy haul. It's nothing big. I'll just show the stuff. This is the um, department store. That's now, and watch that be the snub, uh, what they call it, thumbnail. So I was running out of um, face cream, the, uh, the cream that's taking the dark uh, spots off my face. I was running out from the, the stuff that I got from the Philippines. So this is actually, um, you use one in the day. And then you use one at night. I'm not out completely of the soap because I have the I have the facial soap, and then I have the bleaching cream, and I'm not out of those two yet. But I'm but I'm not gonna take those those half used ickies with icky soap and stuff with me. So when I leave, I'm gonna and also I also too got this cleansing. Um, Got this cleansing cold cream. It's in the bathroom, though. I'm not gonna go get it for to wash my face at night because that's one step, kind of wa washing and moisturizing. And then what I do is, well, it's according to what I'm doing. This is this is pond. It's according to what I'm doing. If I'm going out with makeup and everything, when I get up and wash my face and take my shower and stuff, I use this primer that my daughter-in-law gave me for under my makeup. If I'm just going to be here, taking a walk, going to the store, blah, 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 not putting any makeup on, I wash my face with the facial soap, and then I put the bleaching, the cream on. Um, at night, I was pretty much doing the same thing, but not putting any cream on, but I, using the soap, but not use, putting any cream on, and I realized that I was, like, my skin was dry, too dry. So I happened to be in the store one day, and I saw this um, cold... Um, cold cream washing like old-fashioned washing your face cold cream so I got some of that and that's what I use at night because that cleans and moisturizes I was gonna say something else talking about cleaning yet yeah, it made me think about how I'm going to oh and I gotta remember to get some uh, eyeglass uh, cleaners when I go to the store What's the time? Oh, I've been watching these cleaning programs. Don't I, I'm such a nut. I mean, I don't know why the crazy stuff I look at, just the weird, craziest stuff. And then I got, uh, I like to see other people clean because I'm such a clean freak. I guess. <laughs> Nuts. Anyway, I got this stuff. This is um for your hair because like it's it's no hair products over here for me. But this just happens to be it's by um. L'Oreal, but it's um, it's good on all hair types, supposedly. But this kind of thing works on my kind of hair, and I've got two inches of hair, so I mean, my inch of hair, so you know that'll last forever. I got that, and then I got um, this is eyelash eyelash. Well, I'll turn it up so you can see it. This is eyelash glue, like Duo, like. You know, duo eyelash glue, but the um, uh, Japanese version. But I I didn't know it was black, which maybe works for me. But well, you know, I mean, all even the white it turns you know clear once you once you put it you know on your 
once you let it dry a little bit, you put it on the thing. Then I got some mascara, my mascara. You're not supposed to keep your mascara but three months. And I couldn't remember exactly when I bought that mascara, but I knew that I opened it new in the Philippines. So that meant, and I was there 90 days. So it was time for it to go. You know, because I'm not trying to get no effect. I'm not wearing my lashes or nothing today. I'm wearing the last last of that other uh, mascara. So I got another mascara. And some more OPI. This is, I can't, I can't. It's kind of a blue. Oh, it's taped. It would be. Well, I can't. I'll tell you the color. In the, maybe in the description box or something, but you can kind of see it's kind of blue. It's not like the shiny one. It's more just a midnight, midnighty blue. I think that's what I'm going to put on my nails because I'm, I'm known for walking around blue nail polish and nothing else being blue. I don't care. And then these. I should have had these on. But you know what the funny thing about it? They're um, screw in the back. They're not pierced. Isn't that crazy? It's the first pair of earrings that I have bought in 20, 30 years that weren't pierced. I didn't look at them. I just looked at the dingly dangly that they were cool. You know, I didn't look at that. So, um, yeah, I just been, I haven't been, I haven't got any work done. A little bit I've worked on. I really need a new computer. Um, I am, yeah, like I said, I've been watching the cleaning shows. I've been watching my girl, Darlene. She shouted out my granddaughter for uh, her birthday. What else? That's it. Um, besides just trying to, you know, get my mind around this move. Well, they're going to come in and just move everything. But I mean, you still have to pack your boxes and you still have to, you know, throw stuff away. You still have to organize stuff, you know. And it's so funny because I thought we were moving Thursday. So I like threw all the old spices away. I threw like all the stuff away and come to find out we weren't moving. So uh, I think I'm going to make my son some. He, he really said something. I fried some chicken for him a couple of nights ago and he was saying something my daughter asked him what his favorite meal was that I made and he was saying this um we used to call it Chinese food but I started making it when we moved to Tacoma we Washington State we lived in uh like a Korean neighborhood like this total Korean neighborhood and I never really cooked any kind of that kind of food you know and no, I don't mean that kind of food, but you know what I mean, Asian influenced foods, you know, we, we had that kind of stuff out, you know, and I started fixing this, um, it's just thin strips of beef and peppers and onions, you know, that kind of stuff and um, um, soy sauce seasoning, Hussein seasoning, you know, that kind of uh, uh, stuff and I, of course I put red peppers in mine, but we would, um, you know, that's we we that's was one of our favorite meals. We used to have stir fry. That's one of our favorite meals. So I think I'm gonna make that for him tonight because it's Father's Day. I'm gonna make that for him tonight. And then I've got to do my nails. Well, I, and I put this stuff on, which is you would think, okay, that's kind of crazy because this sparkle nail polish is tough. Okay, it's really tough. And that's why I put it on my nails because I thought we were going to be moving. I'm, you know, I'm going to wear gloves, blah, uh, duh. But I thought we were going to be moving. So I thought that I would put, you know, some kind of tough, tough, very tough nail polish on. So now I'm debating. I want to use my new blue one, but I'm debating on whether I want to use the, um, put the new blue one on or put this back on or put, maybe the gold one on because this one's kind of silvery and maybe put the gold one on to um protect my nails while we're doing the moving and stuff this we I, i'll figure it out i'll figure it out it's not like it's important that's the biggest um oh ooh, and i got a new plant i just my new plant i don't know what i'm gonna name him uh, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get that many more plants because I don't want to have to give them up, and I don't want them to 
have to leave them because I, you know, you can take an animal when we leave Japan in three years. I think my son's contract is three years anyway. And I don't know where I might be moving or going. I might be going. We, my son and I were talking about um, me getting a uh, place and maybe a place in the Philippines. But um, I'm thinking because he wants to make some investments. He wants to invest some of his money. What I'm thinking is, yeah, and I know I can take an uh, animal out of the country, but you can't take plants, and I'm not leaving my plants for them to get killed. So anyway, and yeah, and something else too, that's something else, and then I really am going to go, because I got to go to the store. But um, it's been triggering me having to pack up my apartment and having to leave a couple, you know, you, it's been over a year now. Yeah, okay, it's something else too. But see, that's why I threw that old planner away. Mm hmm. See, I go now, I know why people say that, you know, being on um, YouTube, you know, ain't nobody gonna see mine. But, you know, talking stuff out and vlogging and stuff makes them remember things. That's what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. That's why I'm tired because it's triggering having to, I think this is around the time that I had the disagreement cause with my sister and ended up having to go and stay with my niece for a little while. And then that ended up going into, um, you know, a lot of causing a lot of difficulties for me not being able to take the jobs, two jobs I was offered because I basically had nowhere to live, you know, so I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I mean, I had somewhere to live, but you know what I'm saying, I didn't have it, um, um, stable, you know, my own place to get up, clean up, get dressed, go, you know, and, and, and go to work and then have somewhere to come back and, you know, be, stressed <laughs> you know at the at the end of the night i didn't have that so you know and it's very hard to work when you don't you know it's very hard to concentrate on getting a job and stuff and starting a job and doing all this stuff like that and even being offered a job and unable to take it because you can't um you know you don't have the, the stability the comfort of you know having um a home so I will, like I said again, I wish everybody a happy Father's Day. I will um, get online, do my Father's Day, yada, yada, yadas. I'm going to try to call my son's dad. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work because I know I'm a fall asleep. <laughs> I'm silly today. I have a giggle. I swallowed a giggle today. So anyway, but I finally got this. I, I, I had to vlog. I had to vlog. I had not vlog. And something else I have to do is I have to write. If it's one sentence, I have to get one sentence down today. That's, that's what I'm going to do today for uh, Father's Day. So I will talk to you guys later.